On the 16th of June, COR President Mercedes Bresso and the President of the European Commission, José Manuel Barroso, met with presidents of the associations representing local and regional authorities. Local leaders grabbed the opportunity to call on President Barroso to put forward ambitious EU budget proposals in order to boost EU's economy. The local and regional leaders stressed the importance of involving in the most active way the regions and municipalities in designing and implementing the EU 2020 strategy. On June 29, Brussels COR headquarters was the place to be for local and regional stakeholders to exchange views on industrial competitiveness. Another initiative by which the COR brings together experts to look into synergies between policies favoring industrial competitiveness and social, economical and territorial cohesion. Through a series of workshops, experts studied how to support enterprises, clusters and business university cooperation and how to organize inter-regional exchange of good practice. Europe needs uh, to keep uh, manufacturing. Uh, to find innovation solutions for the, for the products. And uh, because uh, if we will uh, stop manufacturing, uh, services will stop as well. On the last day of the month, local and regional representatives gathered in Brussels for the Committee of the Region's 91st plenary session. President Bresso welcomed Vice-Chair of the European Parliament's Committee on Budget, Jutta Haug, to deliver an impassionate speech on the new multi-annual financial framework. And Vice-President of the European Commission, Mr. Sim Kallas, presented his white paper on EU transport policy. The social and economic cohesion between all regions, including peripheral and ultra-peripheral ones, depends on an efficient trans-European transport network, a vital policy objective that will bring together the western and the eastern part of the Union. One of the major topics of the plenary was the subject of services of general interest. Minister-President of the Belgian-German-speaking community, Karl-Heinz Lamberts, delivered an opinion on the reform of the EU state aid rules, while the president of the Puglia region, Niki Vendola, insisted on the role of regional and local authorities in promoting sustainable water management.